Hi guys, how you doing? This is Matt Busan here at the uh, CSF Performance Development Center. Uh, we got a question about uh, foam rolling, the different types of textures uh, and density, shapes and sizes of the various different tools. Uh, so we're just going to give you a quick little rundown uh, of a number of different tools that we can use. Now this is the actual foam roller. Um, this one here we can pull out and we can just use a smaller diameter. Uh, basically the, the density of this foam roller here is nice and soft. It's got a lot of give in it. Um, so this is going to be good for uh, your more beginners or less trained individuals uh, or anybody that has a particular area or muscle that's really, really tight or sore or painful. So we can start off with here uh, and then we have a number of other different densities. So we have a orange one right here that's got a couple different uh, types of textures and patterns on it. That can help kind of trigger point. We can lean onto the side if we need to dig in uh, to a specific area in our hip. The black one here out of these two is, is denser. It's a lot tougher. Uh, it's got a lot less give in it, uh, and it's got the PVC pipe uh, through the middle of it. We also have here two different types of PVC pipes. Again, different types of diameters. We got the tape around it just so it's a little more comfortable uh, rather than just going straight onto the hard plastic. Now, these ones here got no give in it at all. Um, with these types of tools here, we say that they are more robust. Uh, and you're going to hit a much larger area. So if we have multiple knots in one muscle, uh, we can use things like that. Uh, other types of tools that we have, things like uh, tiger's tail. Now this one's really good, so we can start adding in uh, a bunch of weight. If I want to hit my quads, uh, calves, I can hit, have a partner hit my traps or lats. Uh, now this one we can apply a lot more pressure onto it rather than just our body weight when we sit on these larger, more robust types of tools. Uh, here's another type uh, of a tiger's tail. This one's got the nodules on it again so we can trigger point uh, a lot better. And the density of this one is nice and uh, firm and sturdy. Uh, and again, it's not going to give you any type of uh, a give. We also have other tools here where we can start really getting into our trigger points. We got you know, various different balls. Uh, you can also use things like softballs, baseballs, tennis balls. Tennis balls are going to be very, very squishy, so again, it could be a good start uh, for a beginner. We can go all the way into golf balls. Now, golf balls have the smallest surface area, so you're going to be able to trigger point on a specific point uh, a lot better and a lot easier. Um, different things we can do with this, again, hitting uh, on the inside of our hip. Uh, I can put it against uh, my back and lean into the wall or lay on the ground. Uh, this one here, most painful. Um, so be careful with that one. Um, anytime it goes into, into pain, sharp shooting pain, you do not want a foam roll. You might need to see uh, a physio or seek uh, medical help. Uh, we also have these types of ones here that are good for uh, rolling out our cuffs. They're on wheels, so they roll with, and again, different densities right here in the middle. This one's a little softer versus the smaller one is a lot denser, so it doesn't have that given it. So uh, again, there's a number of different types of tools that we can use. Uh, no one is better than the other. It just depends on the person and the type of uh, individual issue that we're trying to address. Hope that helps, guys. Thanks for tuning in.